What's up guys, welcome back to uh, part two of the PW80 build. And I know in the last video that I said I was gonna, going to use this video to try and get it running, but I thought it over and I think I'm just going to go ahead and tear it down to the frame so I can wash it. And I'm sure when I tear it down to the frame, I'll find, find new stuff that I need to uh, buy or order or whatever. So let's get into that and start tearing this thing down. The first thing I think I'm going to do is the, um, the front end which means triple clamps, suspension, bars, all that stuff, which means I gotta go get my stand to put up in there, which is in the trailer. So our trailer is a big mess right now, but that's because we uh, repainted, we did the walls white and then the floor dark gray. So stands right here, let me just put that and be ready to go. Next, we're gonna take the bars off and uh, I had to cut these little zip ties off to get the get the bar pad off so I could reach the the nuts that hold on the bar clamps. All right, so we've actually got the, we, we took the front end off and we took the wire harness all off and I've got to take this off to get to the generator. I think it's what it's called behind all that. But when we took this cover off, look at all this junk that came out of the, and like right in there in the front sprocket. So we decided not to take that off to get to the generator behind it. So what I think we're gonna do is go over here and take the exhaust off. And then, so we can set the bike on the engine on the stand. And then we're gonna drop the engine out of it and then we'll get to cleaning it. All right, so to take the exhaust off, we're gonna have to take those two bolts out, one on this side and there's one on the other side, and those are both 12s. All right, so we got the exhaust screws off, and they were two 12s down here, which got that off, and then a 12 up here. Now we should be able to just pull that right off. There's the exhaust, and then we're gonna drop the frame, or drop the uh, engine out of the frame next. Engine out. I took the first engine mount out, and I got the nut stuck in my T handle and it's not not coming out. So we're gonna have to get that out. All right, so everything's kind of messing up right now. This bolt will not come out of the T handle. Um, I put the, we took the oil tank off and I put it over there in my parts pile and it leaked all over the place, which got that dirty. So now I'm not taking any chances with little T handles. And I got this big old breaker bar out wow so that i don't strip that screw because what i think happened with the t-handle is that it was too small like i didn't get enough leverage and then i um rounded the nut out so now the nut is stuck in the t-handle we're probably gonna have to drill that out the nut that i took off over there is that one right there. So I've got to sit and twist that one out and then pull it out. But to get to that, I got to take the chain off because I can't get my uh, wrench up in there. So I got to take the guards off right here, which are this, these screws, which are eight mil, I believe. All right, so I got the uh, chain guards off and now we're gonna take the master link off, which is just this push that out the back should just slide right out but now we're taking out this engine mount right here which I'm thinking that one's out that one's out should just be that one and then we should be able to pull the engine that way and we took off this which connects to the brake up here and then the spring which goes on top of the brake up there so that we can reach that nut, which is a third or 14, I think. And then we rigged up this contraption, which is the breaker bar to a reducer, to an extension, to another reducer, to the 14 mil. Wow. Now we're gonna take that out.
So as I was taking that nut out, or that bolt, I was like, hmm, when I take this out, the engine's gonna fall. And I realized I had both my legs under the engine. So let's pick this bike up and put the engine up on the stand so that it doesn't fall and crush my leg. So we got this engine mount out and then we're gonna put it in the box with our other engine mounts. And now, according to my calculations, the engine should come out of the frame. Psych! So let's try that out. Nope, not coming out. So in the last uh, clip, y'all saw that I was shaking the frame to try and get the engine to slide out onto the stand, but that didn't work. So I started to take the frame back down to see what I was, see if I had anything else holding the engine on. The engine started to fall out. So I called my dad out real quick and he helped me get the, uh, the engine out without it hitting the ground real hard. So now I think I'm gonna clean up my workspace take the engine and take it to the workbench. Uh, my area, so I could come put my engine up here, and I was taking out the air filter. Look at this. And that's just factory, you know? Just crumbles to pieces. All right, so I actually just, uh, I'm gonna go wash everything, but I got bored of taking this apart. So I'm gonna go ride my pit bike which is a 2017 klx 110l and uh got the frame right here and then the engine is back there and we're gonna go ride this and then we'll take everything apart and wash it <laughs> and today i'm actually going to be using slick off-road wash to wash my bike well the frame and the engine so the bike basically and um they actually hooked me up with some off-road wash and it's the best on the market. It doesn't corrode any grease in your bearings or mess up any electrical components. So it's pretty serious wash. So let's cut to some time-lapse of uh, me washing all the plastics, the frame, fuel tank and all that. got done washing and I uh, put everything back up we got the plastics back like the frame back is in the garage and then all of our spare parts are over there and I've got a ton of spare parts that I need and I've decided to just go home or go inside and go through and order all that but I also want to show you all something that I got from one of my sponsors flow vision so these should be my uh, tear-offs, which I got two, one pack of just regular tear-offs and three packs of uh, laminate tear-offs. But I also got some goggles. Nice. They're the uh, army green and black colorway. That matte black frame looks great. This is where the video stops.